What's happening, sports fans? How you doing? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. Good Tuesday to you. And former Packers legendary quarterback and Hall of Famer Brett Favre made a shocking announcement during his testimony before Congress on Tuesday. We're going to talk about that in this segment. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that follow button. Again, on Tuesday, former Packers legendary quarterback Brett Favre was testifying in front of the House Ways and Means Committee on welfare reform. And during his testimony, when he talked about the drug company that's now defunct Provacus, which he invested $2 million and was their largest investor, he would reveal that he has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Now, according to Favre, he has suffered thousands of cu concussions from playing football over 20 plus years, but he has since been retired. Now, since his retirement, he has been uh, mired in this uh, controversy in the state of Mississippi, his home state, and the uh, Mississippi uh, 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 Department of Human Services. This was start, This started back in 2020, where some text messages were revealed that uh, Far will be a spokesperson for uh, the Department of Human Services uh, to lobby to get certain things, and uh, this nonprofit organization that he would become a part of. They started funneling money from uh, the Mississippi, uh, the welfare funds that they were receiving. And that's what they were paying far with. Now, according to a lot the lawsuits and things, far he hasn't been criminally charged. Was unaware that the money that they were paying him was coming from uh, the welfare funds that should have been going to some of the poorest uh, residents uh, in Mississippi, which we know Mississippi is one of the poorest states in the union. Uh, again, this started in 2020. Uh, there is a lawsuit. Uh, against Far and 42, uh, 43 other defendants uh, that has been filed by the Mississippi Department of Human Services, and they're looking to seek ninety million dollars. Now, Far has paid back what he was 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 given uh, was uh, was given for him being a uh, a spokesperson for that nonprofit organization. Now, some mem some of the, uh, the the owners of that nonprofit uh, they have already pleaded guilty to certain charges again. Far has not been criminally charged in this case, but he is still a defendant in this lawsuit. Uh, so this has been ongoing since 2020. Uh, you know, he made this announcement again he, during his testimony uh, during the House Ways and Committee before Congress. Again, they're trying to look to, for ways of, to, 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 to do some welfare reform. And I just think this is another distraction. <laughs> and I'm not, this is not a laughing matter by no means, but I think this is a distraction. Uh, and he used his this time to make that announcement uh, during this, this uh, testimony uh, to distract from exactly what's going on with this, this lawsuit and, and, and the welfare reform that's needed for the state of Mississippi, his home state. And oh, by the way, uh, he was he got involved with this because he was wanted a uh, a new uh, gymnasium built for his his alma mater, Southern Mississippi, where his daughter Braley was going to be going to on a volleyball scholarship. So that's how this all began. So there there's text messages between he and some of the other uh, defendants and in, in this and all that. Uh, but again, he is still not off the hook. Uh, for he's are again he's already paid I think back 1.3 million uh, but Mississippi the state of Mississippi the uh, human services are still seeking 700 more thousand dollars from far because of the interest that was accrued on the original amount that he's already paid back so that is still in the process of going on uh, but again uh, Brett Farr he would announce that he has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Now, we do know this is a debilitating disease. We've seen it uh, from the, the late, great uh, Muhammad Ali, which I think is probably most people are familiar with, as well as actor Michael J. Fox. Um, and, and this goes back now, you know, we can kind of shift this to the concussions. And uh, we see this in football. I did read that they say that 61 percent of uh, football players uh, are most likely to develop Parkinson's in their lifetime. That's a high number. We've seen uh, the Miami uh, Dolphins quarterback, Tua Tagovailoa. Uh, he's out for a few weeks, uh, excuse me, because of his concussion. And he's had eight more than one in his football career. Three that we know of, but could be possibly more. But to, for Brett, Brett Farr, he actually, again, announced that he has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Now, he played 20 years in the NFL as a player. Uh, he didn't miss a game uh, from 1993 to 2009. 
and he set a record for consecutive starts. So most likely, a lot of those times, I'm sure, uh, Brett was playing uh, with a concussion, and we know that some of them uh, go undiagnosed. Now, he is 54 years old, uh, and uh, you can kind of see that there's something uh, there's something going on with him. He's not out in the public uh, spotlight a lot since he's been retired. Uh, but again, uh, Brett Favre would announce that he has Parkinson's disease during his testimony in front of the House Ways and Means Committee uh, before Congress. And he was there, again, to speak on behalf of welfare reform because he's still embroiled in this Mississippi uh, welfare scandal that's, that's, that's went down a couple of years ago. Uh, I'd like to know what you guys think about Brett Favre uh, revealing he has Parkinson's disease. Uh, talk to me in the comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel.